Okay, so I'm using a mouse and keyboard, which is really unfamiliar for me. But, overall, it looks pretty cool. Uh, so the mouse is uh, just like controlling the gun. And you can look around, six degrees of freedom. So obviously there's no motion controls yet. But still, it looks awesome. Hello piggies. <laughs> Use button to open the door. So I can remember the bind key, so F. We've got any anything? Gonna make sure I don't press the uh, grenade button because uh, <laughs> that might be good. Okay. So I like this because you put your gun down like that, which is pretty cool. I like that. Oh, can I break that crate? Let's have a look. Jack, I've been able to tie your compass in with the transceiver. This means that now I can supply you with the bearings marker. It should give you a rough idea of where to go at least. Oh, I can aim down sight use my other mouse button. <laughs> Which is so weird because like I mean to be fair, it's like a 3D it is a 3D model of a gun. You know, which is uh it's not bad. Not bad at all. I mean this is uh, cannibalistic who's been working on this so uh, he's one of the guys that was um, one of the main guys who did the uh, Far Cry uh, not Far Cry Half-Life 2 VR mod so absolutely outstanding job man absolutely outstanding and being <laughs> in Far Cry God I played this game so many years ago This game came out. It was on par with uh, Doom 3, and Doom 3 was like, oh my god! Yeah. Use your binoculars to survey the surroundings. Yeah. Notice that they have a sound enhancer and movement tracker. Dr. Krieger has fitted everyone on the island with locator signals that you can track using the binox. Okay, easier said than done. No idea how to use that. So maybe it's the number of buttons. No. So the number of buttons change the weapons in uh, in the good style of the old first person shooters. I love this. This is awesome. <laughs> wow. Now apparently one of the notes said that the um, the birds only render in one eye, so um, you can disable that, but I'm not going to bother disabling that, it's not going to put me off that much, because everything else looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at that water. <laughs> there are VR games to gate today that don't look that good. I want to go on here. Look at that, that is awesome. <laughs> Bear in mind, this is the very beginning of the game. Off scoops all the cutscenes and everything. Um, Tell you what, this is going to be an absolute masterpiece with most controls in it. It's going to be so cool. Oh god. I'm just completely geeking out over this shit, man. I mean, yeah, you're going to see some uh, pop in there. You just like. Now, I remember the Crisis, uh, Far Cry, um, Crytek were one of the first games to use the whole thing where you're moving through foliage 
and the foliage moves with you and it was in crisis they did that but you know this has got to be one of the first games that used the uh, the scale like this mountains and like a whole you know paradise island sort of like I know there are certain games back in the day that did um, some decent foliage like the original Hitman game there was a level in that that had some fantastic foliage in it but this was the game that was I, I've got to think it's going to be in the truly first open world first person shooter you know this, this set a standard you know once Far Cry came out with vehicles and uh, this open world where if you look up at something you're pretty sure you can go there and everyone else was like, yep, we've got to do that as well. And that's incredible. That looks absolutely fantastic. And yeah, this is an old game. And it's not, I don't think it's overly challenging. I mean, I've got a 3060 and an i5, which is a 9400F, which is not the best CPU. You should try to acquire one of their vehicles and drive to the helicopter refueling pad. It's on the other side of the island. From there, you can use one of their boats to escape. I bet I could shoot that guy up there. Fucking look at that. <laughs> Definitely, oh, it's a lean button. So it's lean left, and oh, yeah, that's the uh, instructions. That's forward. And there is a permanent crouch, which is V. Look at this dude. Oh, you're dead, ain't you? Who are you shooting at? Oh, he's target practicing. <laughs> Take care. The mercenaries are trained to work together. If you alert one, they will bring others. Look at this dude. I'm playing this on easy because I didn't know how easy it was going to be. I've used the mouse quite a bit actually because uh, the mouse is, you know, it's smooth turning, you know, it's uh, how I would turn normally in the game. And I'm actually quite enjoying the, uh, the movement here. I have to keep lifting my headset to uh, open doors because I ain't got a fucking clue what this keyboard commands are. What was that? It was me. There he is! Oh, you just wait for me to reload, that's really kind. Of now I've got you. You want some? Good job. There is a quick save option there. Take care. The mercenaries are trained to work together. If you alert one, they will bring others.
uh, <laughs> blind using the controls is really not. <laughs> Don't you dare go press it. Piggies, I had bacon for lunch. Use my mouse wheel. <laughs> Dudes, don't even try it.
Some? No? Okay. So what I shall do is I shall pop the link to Cannibalistics uh, mod in the bottom of the video and also a link to the Discord, Discord page, flat screen to VR and uh, give it a go and get this for about. I mean I got this off good old games and it's available for about two and a half quid now I think. Um, you can get it on Steam for about eight, so definitely worth it. Give it a go, and uh, yeah, that's it. Follow the instructions. Once you're playing in VR, you just need to like recalibrate your Steam view, and it'll bring you into a level. Otherwise, you'll be floating above it. But apart from that, if you're okay using mouse and keyboard blind, it's fucking good to go, man. It is absolutely good to go. So uh, yeah, have fun. Give it a go. Cheers. <laughs>